all right people hi hello hola yo this is jay from mixed stuff and today we will see wait i suppose you already know what we are going to do today because you already just saw at the beginning of the video so without wasting our time let's get started coming to our requirements well you are only going to need a handful of parts first you will need a breadboard then a couple of jumpers then obviously an arduino uno or any other arduino board uh, led and a sound sensor well the one which we have got here has got four terminals over here and another one with three terminals is also available in the market but this one has got an extra pin called as analog output so i decided to buy this which will be much useful in future so i decided to go with this and we are going to follow our tutorial with this well i have got all these parts from hightechnology.co.in and if you want to buy them then go visit their website link is given in the description so moving to our connections let's take a sound sensor and it has got four pins the first one is the vcc which goes to the 5 volt supply on the arduino board the second is the ground pin which goes to the ground terminal of the arduino board and the third is the digital pin which goes to pin number 3 on the arduino board so let's just start connecting them let's get the led now and mount it on the breadboard the positive terminal goes to any of the digital pins now go for pin number 7 and the negative terminal goes to the ground Well, that's it. That's all you need to do in the connections part. Now let's move to our coding part. So we have defined pin number three as the digital output pin of the sensor, and pin number seven as the external LED which we have connected. Also, we have set a threshold value by setting the potentiometer on the sound sensor. So if the sound intensity is higher than the threshold value which is set by us. then the sensor would return the value as 1 so if the sensor value returns the value as 1 then the led would be turned on else it will be turned off that's it all right so now moving towards our testing part uh, well before that let me tell you about this blue box kind of thing over here well it's just a potentiometer and it adjusts the sensitivity of the sensor and nothing else so moving it in the anti clockwise direction decreases the sensitivity of the sensor while moving it in the opposite direction that is clockwise it increases the sensitivity so what we are going to need here is the position of the potentiometer such should be such that the red light should just turn off so let's try doing it here and yeah let's try yeah this is perfect this is exactly what we want All right so that's all for today thanks for watching if you liked the video then please like us if you loved our video then please subscribe us and if you have any suggestions then the comment section is always open for you i'll be back with another interesting video soon until then adios sayonara goodbye bye bye